Hey everyone, it's Jack here, Talk Norwich City. I hope you're all doing well. I suspect looking forward to the end of the season now, the season finale against Blackpool on Monday, the final game of the season. It'll be Timu Puki's last in a Norwich City shirt. Uh, he is going to be leaving as the fourth top goal scorer at Norwich City in the history. And considering he was a free transfer, and I think probably wasn't even the, the, the marquee signing of that summer, what a remarkable player he's been over the years, both in the Premier League and the Championship. One of the best finishers, I think, I've ever seen in my lifetime supporting Norwich City. Probably the best striker. Certainly couple him in with, uh, with, with Ewan Roberts and, and Grant Holt in terms of since I've been watching Norwich City. So I'm looking forward to, to giving Timu the send-off he deserves. Probably not looking forward to the game as much as I should be, uh, but an opportunity to hopefully round the season off with a win against a Blackpool side already relegated. Not here uh, to speak about that today, though. Here to speak about uh, the players that will be leaving the club at the end of the season. Of course, it's that time of the year where the players that won't have their contracts renewed are announced. And in total, including loanees, we will be losing eight players from Norwich City that have been um, partaking in our squad this season. The two notable ones probably doesn't come as a surprise, but still the two most notable, aside from Pukki, that we already knew about is that of Sam Byram and Kieran Dowell, both players that have featured um, quite heavily under under David Wagner. Um, Kieran Dowell at the at the early stages of, of Wagner's reign at Norwich City before injury. Kieran um, Sam Byron more recently um, with the injuries that we've seen to Gibson and, and Hanley. 75 appearances and 12 goals for Kieran Dowell. 54 appearances, one goal uh, for Sam Byron. I mean, Byron's been here for four years and in that time made just 54 appearances. I think that metric shows just how much he struggled with injury. The, the, the sad thing with Byram is the fact that when he did play and when he was fit, he was a really solid performer. You knew what you were getting out of Sam um, and he was a consistent kind of 7 out of 10, which um, for the amount we paid for him, both in the Premier League and in the Championship, was a fairly um, decent kind of utility player to have the problem comes you just couldn't rely on him even if he got through a game and you thought he was okay you suddenly find out he's out for a couple of months so not much of a surprise to see Byram leaving Dowell will, will be the one that I think will raise a few eyebrows particularly because of his form under Wagner at the start and the fact that Wagner really liked him quite clearly he's been linked with Rangers in recent weeks I wouldn't be surprised if that is the club that he ends up going for on a free transfer. Dal was a was an interesting player. Um, I, th I feel like we really got to see the best of him in those early games um, under under Wagner, but scored important goals. I think you look back to even under Daniel Farker, like wasn't a prominent figure in that squad, um, but when needed, you could rely on him. Scored a really um, good couple of goals. 12 in, in 75 is a pretty good return for an attacking midfielder. Um, and I think will be somewhat of a miss. Again, you 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 kind of put him in the same bracket as Byram in a way in terms of couldn't really rely on him to be fit every week. And that will, you know, that will be the reason why both of these have been let go. I suspect also quite sizable wages for both players it's been clear that I think Wagner wants to lean the side up. We went into this season with a with a really bloated side, and I think getting that down isn't a bad thing. And we're also under financial implications and, and restrictions now, so we're needing to cut back where possible. Byram and Dow, quite mature contracts, would have been earning well. Um, the other three that were here, uh, obviously excluding Timu Puki, um, two of them were on loan. Michael McGovern will be departing after seven years. Josh Martin will also be going and Daniel Sonani. Uh, those latter two were, were on loan this season. Sonani, I kind of had down as, as the breakthrough act of this season. Just never happened. Um 
just clearly not good enough. Josh Martin, there were glimpses of him again under Daniel Farker, but haven't really seen much of him since. I feel like if he would have been good enough, we would have seen him back in a Norwich City shirt and um, and, and playing regularly. He was an academy graduate. Um, there's a real push to get more academy players in the, t- in the team. It wouldn't have been through lack of trying. So Martin also goes. And the two low knees in Marquinhos and Isaac Hayden will also both be re- returning to their parent clubs. And, you know, recruitment has been poor on a permanent um, basis in the last couple of years. The loanees have been even worse. You know, it's been a, a, a problematic couple of seasons for Stuart Webber trying to get those um, those loanees right. Marquinhos scored early on and has done absolutely nothing since. Isaac Hayden, again, like Byram and like Dowell, um, was kind of impressive on his day, but was simply never fit. We knew what we were getting ourselves into when we signed Hayden. He was injured when we signed him. There were, you know, you spoke to any fan of of previous clubs of Hayden and they all said um, he's an injury risk and that's exactly what we got. So disappointing there. And I think when you look at the, the championship clubs and the EFL clubs in general that have done well, they all utilize higher division loanees in a really clever way. And we simply haven't done that this season. And I guess the players that that will want to come to Norwich now, you are taking a risk on in some department, whether that be injury, whether that be hasn't done it at this level before, like you're not going to get the perfectly rounded player, but we have screwed up so badly. Um, So Byram, Dow, McGovern, Martin, Sinani, Marquinhos, Hayden and Puki, none of those guys will be here next season. (sighs) Not really disappointed about any of it. I think you know, McGovern's been a great servant, but we haven't seen him needed. You've got Gunn in first choice, Cruel in second choice. He's not going to be breaking through them. Dowell's probably the one where you go, okay, like, could have maybe worked next season. Unlikely that we're going to miss him too much. Let me know your thoughts on those players that have gone. Out of those players, were there any of them that you were disappointed to see leave or would have liked to have seen stayed on the books. Um, as I said at the start of the video, if this hits 200 likes, we will get out my five players that we need to get rid of video, uh, as well as these players. There might be some controversial ones in there. Uh, thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you all again very soon. Bye bye.